Good morning, family. My name is Steve, and this is A Pause for Purity. Even though I was not raised in a Christian environment with Christian morals, it was naturally written in my heart from the time of my youth to find one woman and be with her and her alone. But along the way, I fell into the wrong crowd, and my patience to wait for her had expired. I am very ashamed of this. But I understand that no one is perfect, and now that I am born again and have Christ in my life, I can make it right by doing what is pleasing in the sight of the Lord. There's a reference quote in the Wild at Heart book that, says, that states, Nothing worth having comes without some kind of fight. For the single men, God says in Genesis 2.18, That it is not good for man to be alone, and he will make a suitable helper for him. So do not get discouraged, because God said he will make a helper suitable for you. And what God says goes. We just have to fight for her by living by his decrees and waiting on his perfect timing. Do you think it is a coincidence that the woman was created from the rib of a man? Because what purpose does the rib serve? Well, it protects the heart and vital organs of the body, as we are called to protect and fight for our wife and family, who in Christ are the heart and vital organs of a man's life. Now just look at nature, for instance. You'll see that the male lion has to chase the female lion around and fight with her for a while before he finally gets her. Also, there, there's an exotic male bird that does a funky dance to try to woo the female. Because there's something about the fight before the fight and the dance before the dance that makes love special. Now it states in Proverbs 5, 15 through 20, drink water from your own cistern, running water from your own well. Should your springs overflow in the streets, your streams of water in public squares, let them be yours alone, never to be shared with strangers. May your fountain be blessed, and may you rejoice in the wife of your youth, a loving doe, a graceful deer. May she satisfy you always, and may you ever be captivated by her love. Why be captivated by an adulteress? Why embrace the bosom of another man's wife? Now, it's my desire for my future wife and I to be a team forcefully advancing the kingdom of heaven, just like Aquila and Priscilla mentioned in scriptures. They are never mentioned separately in the Bible because in marriage and ministry, they operated as one. Marriage is a sacred relationship that honors God and should be treated as such. So just as the Lord Jesus Christ is doing for his bride, who is us, I am patiently waiting and fiercely fighting for my bride. I'm Steve, I'm 26, and this is a pause for purity.